She's finally here. Okay. Hi, Dr. Sorry. Kemi. How are you? Hi. I'm good. So this was a big complication for me to work. I've never done Instagram <laughs> live with somebody else on it. Yeah, we too. We're trying to record it. And it, I don't want that feedback. You know, the whole feedback thing. You know? How yeah. You? It's a pleasure. I'm here. fine. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm wonderful. I just want everyone to focus. The country is not focused, you know? <laughs> so I've been in isolation since um, um, they announced that somebody went to the AMVCA um, yes. that had the virus. Remember, you were the person who broke that story? Yes, I broke it all. I even broke the whole corona story myself, you know? I've okay. Seen called me every media is calling me isn't that something i'm not falling for it cool fm first <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the craziest things that you've heard about covid19 since um nigeria recorded its first case since the first what do you think is the craziest thing you've heard so far the craziest thing is that president buhari and abakiari his chief of staff flew out of the country to some location for it that's the craziest one you know i'm the investigator okay journalist i know where everybody yeah. yes you know <laughs> okay one mm -hmm. okay are, are they still here have they flown out they didn't go anywhere i'll tell them where you where they i'll tell you exclusively where they are <laughs> so we're in a very difficult time right now in the country and mm -hmm. we're not focused um to answer that question i want to beat around the bush a tiny bit okay something came out of china Okay, in December, it moved to Europe, it moved to Canada, US, and it's pandemic killing people. US is now the highest figure. Where do you think it's coming next? It's passing South Africa, killing people in Jamaica. It's coming to Africa. Something that we need to focus on. You're focusing on cars they're giving out in National Assembly and where the president is. President Buhari is where he needs to be in Aso Rock. He's right in there. I can tell you where the chief of staff is. The chief of staff. Nigerians don't pay attention. Three days ago, what's your first name? What's Sandra. What, what, Sandra. Okay. Sandra, one thing about me, I woke up three days ago, 72 hours ago, and I saw my name trending on number one on Twitter. Freeze called me and I said, oh, what did I do now? Because I said President Bori has some cough and flu symptoms. That steered something up. Nigerians, focus. What is going on on my page? You are not focusing. I... Sandra, I reported about three weeks ago on Senator Ahmed Lawan. Ahmed Lawan said he wanted to visit the isolation center in Abuja. When Lawan got there, it was deplorable. It was horrible. He was out there with media, channels, news. I took my thing and I videotaped what he said. It's on my page. He said, what happened here? We're not prepared for an epidemic. What is happening is that I gave them money to fix this place and they have not done it. Tomorrow, I'm going to call the Ministry of Finance. 620 million Naira. It's on tape. The place was never ready. The only isolation center that's ready for anything like that is Lagos. Abakiari was flown to Lagos. It's right there in Yaba. No one can leave the country. It's a pandemic. Abakiari can infect every single person that passes through their underground and whatever. So you, you, have, you have proof that Abakiari is in Lagos? Not just proof. I'm an investigative journalist. I don't reveal the source. I know he's there. I've seen. Oh, so don't let me go further. Some of my stories, people want. Yeah, no, no, we're not asking for your source. We're just asking for proof that he's, he's there. there. You can't. Journalists do not give proof. We have to protect the source. You know that's the one thing about journalism. In journalism, you have to protect the source. Now, if you tell me something, Sandra, do you want me to mention your name out there and say, "Oh, Baba ba, ba told you." Oh, well, we're not saying who told you. We're saying how do we know that he's at Yaba? Because, I, I mean, there's been lots of stories. Some people have said, oh, he's in Bagwalada. Some are saying he is in Yaba. So, no, which is it? That is in Yaba, okay? you got to remember there's health privacy. Health mm. privacy does not allow NCD to tell anybody any person's name. If they say we mm. have four cases, they cannot list the names of the people because of stigma. Mm. They're not going to Yaba, but I know he's in Yaba. He's not. It's not outside mm. Nigeria. The problem I have. What, he, what he, 
Mm-hmm. You, you keep saying that people are not focused. People are not focusing on the That's issues. It. What do you think about people uh, disapproving of the fact that the president hasn't addressed the nation, especially when you compare him to his counterparts in places like America, in Canada, in the UK? Boris Johnson just came forward and announced that um, he's tested positive for the virus as well and reassured Nigerians that he's still working to ensure um, that um, um we fight COVID-19, that he fights COVID-19. What do you think about the people who continue to say the president should be doing the same thing as well? I myself, I believe that I have a degree in public relations, aside from journalism and pharmacy. You have to come out and speak to your nation, not the health departments. The health department can do certain things. Uhuru Kenyatta is one example. The first one was Uhuru. After Uhuru, the Minister of Health is the one announcing it. However, in our mm. case, only the Minister of Health and the NCDC are the ones announcing. Bwari had never come out until pressure came in. Nigerians, you elected an old man. President Wari is very, very old. He cannot do everything. You know, you see what his people said. Oh, he'll do it when it feels like. First of all, the presidency has a zero in public relations. Everybody there, from Garbashew to Femi Adishino. You guys don't know anything about PR. If I become the PR person, the special advisor, or the minister of information, I'll give everybody more information because we're about to go to a serious super pandemic. What's happening in New York is happening very soon here. It's not a curse, Sandra. We got, if you ask me how many people have coronavirus, I talked to a high level official, a high level official in Abuja yesterday. I said I can estimate about 5,600 already have it walking around with it 5600 we have 4300 contacts who lied on their form let me explain this to you sandra because many people have not flown abroad before for all the mekunus listening to me contacts okay are people that the people positive had contact with let me tell you how it works in the airport when you land from abroad you have a form they give it to you in the plane it's called the landing form you got to put your name your address your phone number and your email so that they can contact you if there's an emergency like you leave a phone on the seat or you forgot something many nigerians knowing they were coming on coronavirus era lied on the form every phone number wrong every address they could not find 4300 people all they did was thermometer on the head go home we should have done what we did in what they did in Nairobi. Sandra, do you know that in Nairobi, when that last British air was landed, okay, ours also landed here. Our people were checked with thermometers and they let them go. Nairobi had a van on the tarmac. Everyone from that British air was straight to the van. They took them to a hotel where they're going to be for 14 days. And they even made them pay for the hotel. People were tweaking mm. this thing. And yeah, I got, I got friends in the U.S. Embassy in Nairobi who told me this. Who, who pointed me to tweets I should be looking at? Why did we mm. do, you know what I mean? They released everybody into the population. So now you got people, let me tell you my location right now, VGC. It's a really nice place. I love this area. I'm staying with a friend for two days. I love this area. It's really trying to social distancing. Eh? <laughs> eh? I hope you're social distancing. Oh, yes, of course, of course. VGC, <laughs> see, see, there's no stigma thing. You got to know the facts. Nobody cares about stigma. I mean, Fiji is a beautiful community. Let me tell you that. I love this place. I'm only here for two days before they finish my apartment. Now, since I've been here, all I've noticed is rich people living here. Almost everybody on the street, they got a lot of businesses. They travel a lot abroad. Abroad people are here. Do you know what these folks are doing in VGC? The perfect thing that they should be doing. Because they have a lot of people that travel out. London is six hours. Mm. They wear masks. Everybody in VGC has masks. They got a shuttle. Everything's done right in VGC. You know, I'm not surprised if the VGC people call me later, but there's millions of houses here, thousands of houses here. These people are ready in VGC. At the gate, you, you need a pin to enter. Even the pin thing, they got sanitizers ready when you're putting, putting the pin in, you know? People should yeah, but we've seen that sanitizers don't help much because, I mean, with the person who attended the AMBCAs, there were sanitizers there, there was a thermometer there, and this person still got into the event undetected, so... Now, let me tell you what it is. You can't detect anything from anybody at any time. Even thermometers, forget it. You know what I mean? Let me tell you what I did. Prevention is better than cure. I told people at the AMBCA two days after... If you went mm-hmm. to there, everybody saw the tweet. I don't, to re- I don't have to repeat it. If you went there, go and get tested or isolated, okay? Sandra, I actually went into the DM and DM celebrities by the mounds. Do you know how many got back in touch with me? I'll mention their names. Oh, mashallah. I mean, 
Oh, my Sherlock contacted me back. A girl called Blessing Williams contacted. She's a model. I don't know whether she was there or not, but Shea Awolowa also contacted me back. Everybody else ignored me. You know, some celebrities don't like me. So I left it alone. I told them two things. Do a 30-second video of you saying, wash your hands, don't touch your face, just 30 seconds. And then go and get, no, nobody did the video. Omashola and I now decided, let's just do the video as live videos. So Omashola and I did three series of live videos. And we got the message out for people. And then what? Two weeks later, Lagos State Government announces it. Why are people this stupid? Why? Can your lawyer? Nobody believes in her.